to gamble legally in the USA, you need to be over 21 years of age. Always gamble responsibly and please set your limits. When the fun stops, stop. Hi, it's Adrian here from Top10PokerSites.net. Now today I'll be giving you an insight into a range of different books related to poker that are certainly worth reading. And remember that by visiting the Top10PokerSites.net website, you'll find full reviews of the best online and mobile poker sites. And by clicking on the red buttons on any of those reviews, you'll be able to claim our exclusive sign-up bonus offers. One book that you might enjoy reading is The Biggest Bluff, and it's by Maria Konnikova. Another book that certainly is worth reading is The Theory of Poker, and it's by David Sklansky. Now, I know a lot of you poker fans out there are going to love reading Molly's Game. It's by Molly Bloom, of course, and it's got 4.6 stars out of 5 over on Amazon. Another book that I'd certainly advise you reading if you're learning to play poker is The Modern Poker Theory, and it's by Michael Acevedo. The Applications of No Limit Hold'em book is worth reading as well if you're learning to play No Limit Hold'em and you want to get a much more in-depth overview of the game and that's by Matthew Jander. Another book to add to your ever-growing list of books to read is Doyle Brunson's Super System and it is of course by Doyle Brunson himself. If you're beginning to learn to play poker and you want to get an overview of how to play it, well, Texas Hold'em for Dummies certainly worth reading. And that book's by Michael Harlan. Harrington and Hold'em is another popular book, which has got 4.6 stars out of 5 over on Amazon. And that book's by Dan Harrington, of course. Essential Poker Math worth reading. And that book's by Alton Hardin. And it's got 4.5 stars out of 5 over on Amazon. And finally, if you're looking for a book to read on poker, The Mental Game of Poker, certainly worth reading. And that's by Jared Tendler.